this video, I'm going to show you five different ways and zero that you can manage your account receivable and make sure you get paid fast. As you can see in a small um, business insights done by zero, um, average businesses in New Zealand get paid 8.9 days late. Um, so this is average between 300,000 um, subscribers of zero in New Zealand. So it's quite a bit and uh, we can do so many things to reduce that days and get paid at least on time, if not late. So let's get into it. So the first thing you have to do is um, um, make it very easy for your clients to pay you. And lots of the businesses are thinking about credit card as a cost center because they have to pay one or two or three percent um, of the fees to the um, credit card company. But the fact is by receiving those payments earlier, it helps your cash flow and improves your business. And if you can make it as easy as possible for your clients to pay you, um, that would make it more efficient for you and less hassle and better cash flow. So let's see how we can set up um, the payments. So if you go setting, general setting, on the general setting, if you scroll down, we have payment services. And not all the payment services are credit card. Some of them are credit card, but there is one um, or two that you can use um, to get paid in other ways. So if we say add um, payment services, you can see um, the list of them. So authorized Nate, Braintree, DPS, eBay, PayPal, Stripe. You can go have a look. Um, they're all different. Depends if you have your merchant account with your bank then you can use some of them. If um, you don't, you um, use um, the ones like PayPal and Stripe that basically they provide you with that merchant facility. If um, we're gonna put a link to this, but if you go to this list, basically that provides all of the different um, payment providers that you can use um, in Xero. Because as you can see, these are the ones that um, they directly integrated, but um, you can use a custom URL and make it um, happen that way. So one of the ones that um, it doesn't involve credit card is a poly payment. So poly payment is a bank transfer payment. So when the customer receive an invoice, they receive a little link on the bottom of that. And uh, when they click on that, it um, takes them through the internet banking. And as soon as they put um, the username and password, it'll basically repopulate your bank account and the amount and everything. So they don't have to go enter all the details and invoice number and the amount and account number to pay you. It makes it a lot easier for them and it doesn't cost um, like the credit cards do. So Poly is one of the options that you can use and you can see lots of different options and you can see all the reviews um, that um, people have about these services. Um, in wise advice, we use eBay because one of the things about eBay is it'll, you, you would be able to add the fees for the client as a convenient fee. So if somebody wants to pay us, they pay um, um, that percentage that we get charged from the credit card company and it'll be added um, to the invoice because most of the invoices are paid by direct debit. So if somebody want to pay by credit card, yeah, they can do it. They can get points. And in the meantime, you can add that and it'll update the invoice in zero and reconciles easily with the payments that we receive. So that's the first tip. So try to make it easier for the client to pay you by setting up um, the payment um, gateway and, um, and this, this appears in the invoice and they can click and they can pay you straight away. The second one is, um, sending an email follow-up um, to the clients. So if you go to invoice setting under setting, you can see invoice reminder tab on the top here. So if you click on invoice reminder, it's by default disabled, you can enable it, and then you can change all the settings. So you can say on seven day overview, 14 day, 12 day, you can add more reminder or you can change this from seven days to two days. So basically what will happen after they haven't paid um, on an overdue date, so on a due date, if they haven't paid seven day after, um, they're gonna receive this email. So you can edit this email however you want it. You can start from more friendlier um, emails and just go um, a bit harsher every time that they haven't paid you. And uh, you can have um, 
different different way of setting this up from the overdue um, by seven days or due and so you can even send before it's due so you can say hey uh, do you in seven days i want them to receive an email so they know that is in seven days so they can uh, they can pay me you can change the days you can also customize it however you want with these um, placeholders so you can put the contact name so it uh, puts the contact name the company name any of the codes and currency code invoice number invoice total all the references so you can put lots of information in there um, that is customized to that um, that client and this will bring the information from the zero wherever is available whether it's a contact name or invoice amount or GST whatever it is so you can edit that and however you want it and how many you want you can send these emails also you can change the settings here whether to send the um, link payment which is suggested PDF which is great and um, you don't want to be worried about a dollar or two or ten dollars or whatever is your tolerance for um, not paying the um, bills you can put it there somebody might have paid the whole invoice and they just um, two thousand dollars they pay i don't know um, one dollar difference you don't want to, um, them to receive an email you want to um, basically either write it off or contact them manu um, by phone and ask them for a dollar so you can do that if you wish so when you enable this you can disable it for certain contacts so you can go to contact level and disable those so that's the second way so you can send them email reminder and make sure that the system automatically will um, <coughs> remind them and asking them for payment the other things um, that you can do is if you go to your dashboard you have all your overdue um, accounts here so if I look at this demo account these are the bills, um, sorry, these are the invoices that they need to pay me. If I go click on this overdue ones, so I suggest maybe every, um, every day or every week you spend a bit of time on this. On each line you can see a little plus here, so you can get, do this or you can outsource it to a, a PA company or if you have an um, admin staff they can do this for you. So you can click on this um, plus, all the details of that client will come up and you see the contact um, person for this is Bob. I pick up the phone, the phone number is in front of me and I contact um, Bob and say, hey, um, Bob, um, we had an invoice uh, for $234, which was due on 31st of August. You haven't paid it. Um, when can you pay this and what's the problem? So by doing that, you can put a note here. Hey, Bob said that his, um, sorry and, and they're waiting for a payment so you can put whatever note you want here and then say okay bob when you can pay me and bob say okay by the end of this week i'm gonna pay you and save this so what's that gonna do it's gonna <clears throat> put the expected day here which is blue and if bob doesn't pay by that date um, it's gonna go red again and you can um, you can keep doing that till um, you get the payment so this is a good way and a very fast way to uh, follow up your account receivable. The other thing that you can do which to prevent not getting paid is just check your clients and make sure that they have a good credit history. This is one of those hidden um, things in Zero that you might not um, know about it. So one of the things that is um, um, in Zero is if you start um, typing um, the client's name I'm just going to use um, convincing shop because I know them and uh, <clears throat> it'll bring from company's office the detail of all the names based on that. So um, this is assuming this is business to business. So if you're working with the consumer, it's not going to work. This is only for businesses that they have a company and they registered as an, in a company's office. So for example, if I want to work with convincing shop Auckland Limited, I can click on it it'll repopulate all the names so all the address and everything is there all the um, company number is there and as you can see here i've got a risk rating here which is low so i don't have much risk with this um, client i can deal with them if the risk was an orange or red then you can um, click here and order the report to see um, what is in the credit report, what sort of bad credit they had. Are you uh, happy to deal with this client uh, from now on? 
because um, this is a risk that you're taking and you need to know how the client is performing before, if they have a bad credit, um, if they had any defaults, so you can see this information and you can purchase the report. The report, I think, at the moment is about $20 or uh, more or less, and you can pay the report and save um, a lot of hassle later on in your business. The last but not least, I see so many uh, businesses that they're using Zero, and if somebody doesn't pay them, they just keep sending the same invoice again and again and again. First of all, it's not professional. Second of all, if they have more than invoices, they're going to receive so many different invoices and they get confused and there's more excuse for them not paying you. So the best way to follow up the invoices is by sending statement. And try to send statement on the first of each month or um, if you want to do it the first of each week, you can do it. And um, by sending a statement, you can um, basically say outstanding as 31st of August or I want to do it on um, as of, for example, let's say last week um, or the week before or whatever. So I can set that date and um, get my update statement and then I can go here and say, okay, this two clients, I want to I wanna follow up. So you can email and again, you would have the email addresses here. So it, it will pre-populate there. This is a demo company, so the emails are not there. And then you can change the body of the email to customize it. And you can customize this on a setting as well. So it co goes for each, um, all of your statements that you're sending out is gonna be the same. So by doing that, the send statement, they can exactly see what's the opening balance, what are the invoices outstanding and how much they have to pay you. By sending them invoices again and again, it creates hassle and confusion for them on their side. So sending a statement is the best way to follow up payment rather than sending invoices. Sometimes after you're sending a statement, say, okay, I haven't received that statement. I haven't received that invoice. Can you send it to me? Oh, well, you can send that invoice again. It, uh, it's just a couple of clicks away and you can do that. So you have to make sure monitoring this and make sure there is less in red here on overview as much as possible. And by following up by email, but make sure that they can pay for credit card or different ways, but make sure that they have a good credit and sending them a statement, you can just push that and reduce your um, account receivable payment dates to minimum and get paid all the time on time. If you have any questions, um, get in touch with us. Otherwise, there are links on the bottom of this video which explain to you uh, everything, all the resources that are mentioned in this video.